Okay, girls, here we go with the female egg cell, or commonly called the ova or the ovum. Something that's quite interesting here, ladies. Carla, are you paying attention, my sweetie? Ova means more than one. Ovum means one. So if I produce one egg, I'm producing an ovum. More than one, I produce ova. Right, so let's do the same as the boys. We go backwards in order to go forward. And we draw on past information. Obviously, the ova or the ovum is manufactured in the ovaries of the female. And that we have learned. Now, usually, I say usually, the female produces either one or two eggs per month. There have been cases where there have been more, but I'm talking about an average now. And you will notice as well, if you compare this to the structure of the sperm cell, that you'll notice that the female egg cell is far more rounded. It's got that, that round shape to it. Okay, so my next slide, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to cut away the female egg and show you what it looks like on the inside. So here we go with my cutting away. And as you can see right now, I've actually taken that top layer away and there are three focus areas that you and I are, are going to look at. The first thing to notice, ladies and gentlemen, if you compare it to the sperm cell, you will find that there is absolutely no outer armor. So what I'm saying is that the female egg does not have this outer armor on the inside to protect whatever is found on the inside of the egg. So that is one difference. Okay, so if it doesn't have outside armor, what does it have? And you will notice when we get back to school, I'll explain it in more detail, but there's almost like this jelly-like liquid that protects what is in the center of the female egg. And that area that I've colored in around there, that is the jelly-like liquid that Mr. Mack was talking about. And what is in the center? Now here we draw similarity with the sperm cell. Now if you think about the sperm cell carrying 23 chromosomes from the male, obviously, in this case here, the jelly-like substance is protecting 23 chromosomes from the female. I'll, go, I'll say that again. The female in the, on the inside of the egg has got 23 chromosomes from the mom or from the female, whereas the sperm cell has got 23 chromosomes from the dad. So those are the focus areas that we are looking at. Okay, what Mr. Mack has done now is I've taken it and I've put it all together. So there you have it. I've summarized it. Female egg. Let's go look quickly. Over is more than one. Ovum is one egg. There's no outer covering. There's a protective gel or a fluid that protects whatever's on the inside of the egg. The genetic payload in the middle is 23 chromosomes from the female, and there I've highlighted the 23. Okay, boys and girls, this is the drawing that I would like you to put into your science book. Where it's going to go, exactly the same as the male sperm cell, I will tell you that in the note that Miss Bell is going to pass on to you. Okay, guys, enjoy it. I'm missing you, and I hope to see you all soon. Stay safe, eh? Thank you.